Hola chicos, hola chicas y bienvenidos a otro video de LucaVision. Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to another Eurovision 2021 reaction video. And in today's video we are yet again having a little look at Spain and their entry for the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. Now you guys may be thinking... But Luke, we have already seen Spain in your reaction. And you guys would be right, we have already had a little look at Blas Canto and his track Voyacadame. And if you guys have missed out on that video, be sure to click that link at the top there and it will take you straight there to my initial reaction. And I must admit guys, for those of you that have been watching my videos religiously, number one, thank you. And number two, this track has so, so grown on me. When I first heard it, I thought, oh, it's okay, I prefer Memoria. It's a bit of a, an emotional, heartfelt ballad, but it didn't really hit. It didn't really get me, do you know what I mean? And then after a few listens, by golly it grew on me and it just flew up my top. And if you guys have missed my top 39 and then my top 39 revisited the revamp, it jumped so high, it actually went into my top 10. And guys, I must say, it does have a firm place in my top 10 now for the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. Who's shooketh? I'm shooketh. I had no idea it would creep up on me so much. But when you really get to grips with the lyrics and the story behind the track, oh my god, it just slaps and it really does hit differently. But today, guys, we are going to be having a little look at the English version of the track. And I'm a bit scared, if I'm being honest with you, because I love the track so much already. Why mess with perfection? Why? I was a little bit miffed that they revamped Set Me Free from Israel, if I'm honest with you. So now, seeing that there's an English version, I'm just pleased that it's not the version that's going to be going to Eurovision because I've fallen in love with the Spanish version. Just stick to the OG. You cannot beat the OG. However, I do see why they have done this. It just spreads the message of the song far and wide. And for those people that can't be bothered to translate the lyrics or have a deeper look into the story, I have a feeling that it's really going to hit home for a lot more people. Also, we all know what these translation websites are like. Sometimes they really do just get a strange translation of the lyrics and it is really not what was intended. In one language, you could be saying, I worship the ground you walk on. And when you translate that into another language, it could come out as, I like to kiss the floor. Do you know what I mean? It's just, sometimes it's not 100% correct. So on one hand, I'm nervous because I really love this song already. But on the other hand, I'm excited to see how it translates because obviously Blas Canto is going to do a good job at this. It's the official English version. We're not talking Google Translates. We're not talking Urban Dictionary. We are talking the official translation. So surely the sentiment is going to come through, right? Let's find this out together, guys. Enough chat. Let's react. Now, no word of a lie, guys. I'm already putting it out there. I can tell you straight off the bat, I'm going to prefer the Spanish version. But out of the interest of fairness, I'm definitely going to give this a go. Let me know what you prefer down below, because no doubt you super fans, you've already heard it. So let me know all of your thoughts and all of your opinions down below in that comment section. I cannot wait to get stuck into them. But let's go. Ooh, already it sounds like it's a more stripped back version, more acoustic -y, just with a piano. Simple is effective, don't overdo it guys. Oh, just do the night so I already it's so weird to listen to. Guys, it doesn't sound right. Oh, just a little more and I have missed your touch. Skin. Oh, but the lyrics though. His vocals just give me chills every time. And when it's acoustic and stripped back like this, they really come through even more. Oh. I could listen to him all day long. Oh. oh, and then the strings come in. Obviously, it's English, so I have a little bit more of a connection to the lyrics generally. But also, when you've got that extra oomph of emotional instruments i'm like oh oh guys he's singing this so well did we expect anything else though he's a mastermind of singing i just love how the sentiment is just boosted that much more with this more simple piano and just a simpler instrumentation the emotional factor is just oomphed right up oh i love it here we go Flame to light your darkest moments. Love that. Power note. Love it. 
I do not like the English version compared to the Spanish version. However, the instrumentation and the vibe is so much nicer. Oh, his voice is ASMR chills. Oh, guys, that's so sweet and so lovely, so innocent and pure. Oh my gosh, I've got chills. I've got goosebumps. It's a warm day and I'm feeling cold after that performance. Wow. So guys, what can I say? That was such a lovely version. It was so much more heartfelt. The emotional values and the emotional factors were boosted that much more because the instrumentation was that much more subtle, softer, simplistic, sweet. The acoustic vibes were everything. It really did just make that track that much more heartfelt. And you know what, guys? I'm going to put it out there. Did I prefer this version? No, not at all. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the Spanish version is so superior to this. However, I would prefer the instrumentation of this English version put with the Spanish lyric version. Because wow, that was just everything. And without that kind of, you know the transition from the chorus into verse two, there's like a sound. Exactly like that. Here, you, I mean, you don't need that. This, I mean, it might just be because it's the English version, but the lyrics spoke to me a lot more in this. I could understand the song and the sentiment a bit more. That coincided with the simplistic and just lush instrumentation was amazing. And I didn't miss that power note, if I'm honest with you. You know that bit in the middle when he goes, he's very very talented I did not miss that because I feel like that would have been very very distracting it just shows you get yourself a guy like Blas Kando who can do everything he can do a stripped back ballad he can do a bop he can do a mid-tempo ballad Pfft, great so I'll stop babbling final thoughts the Spanish version is superior but the instrumentation on this is absolutely fantastic Mwah. is it still in my top 10 you bet your bottom euro it is. But guys, that was just my opinion on the English version of Voya Kadame. Let me know what you think. Did you like this better than the Spanish version? Let me know all of your thoughts and all of your opinions down below in that comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. But if you guys enjoy a revamp and you love it when they sing in a different language to their native language, please hit that thumbs up button so I know that we share the same opinion and love a little bit of diversity. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you can stay up to date with all of the videos I have coming out on this channel. But guys, that is all from me. That's all from this video today. And all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.